the Honourable Member for Vancouver East. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. When I rose to ask the Prime Minister about the failures of his national housing strategy, including the glaring absence of a housing strategy that is led by Indigenous peoples for rural, urban and northern Indigenous peoples, I received the usual meaningless talking points. This despite the fact that the Liberals pledged in 2017 with the introduction of the National Housing Strategy to address the housing crisis for Inuit, Métis and First Nations peoples. The Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Families, Children and Social Development even committed on the public record that the Liberals is committed to a separate national urban Indigenous housing strategy by and for urban Indigenous people. Yet, years later, there is still no action. Aboriginal people in Canada are ten times more likely than non-Aboriginal people to become homeless. When I pointed out that in Vancouver, 40 percent of the homeless population are Indigenous peoples, the Prime Minister was so busy patting himself on the back with self-congratulatory rhetoric that I don't think he even realizes how severe the housing crisis is and how grossly disproportionate it is to affect urban, rural and northern Indigenous communities. Across the country, Indigenous peoples are experiencing the highest levels of poverty, with a shocking 25% of Indigenous peoples living in poverty, and despite making up only 5% of Canada's population. High poverty rates for Indigenous people are part of the continued legacy of colonization. Ignoring the housing crisis they are facing will only result in having these numbers increase and further perpetuating the impact of colonization. With a staggering 87% of Indigenous households not living on reserve land, we, have, we need to have an affordable housing strategy to address the needs of Indigenous peoples living in the rural, urban and northern parts of Canada. It is a matter of urgency requiring immediate action that is consistent with international human rights laws. This strategic approach must be founded upon cultural based practice and action led by Indigenous peoples for Indigenous peoples. No more kicking the can down the road. Canadians need to see the allocation of the necessary funds to support the national housing strategy in Budget 2020 and action for a urban, rural and northern Indigenous housing strategy led by and for Indigenous peoples. The government promised to do better. Canadians expected better. And the government must do better, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Families, Children and Social Development. Well, Mr. Speaker, I, I think that uh, we all agree, and, and I think that uh, I'm very proud to have helped move the motions at committee uh, to, to start the process of, of uh, uh, driving forward an urban, rural and northern Indigenous housing strategy to make sure that people that are governed outside the Indian Act, to make sure that, that close to the 87 percent in my province, but 80 percent across the country of, of, of Indigenous people who live outside of the National Indigenous Organization's governance structures, that their housing needs need to be met. They need to be met now. Uh, they need to be meet, met years ago. And I'm very proud to be part of a government that not only passed the National Housing Strategy, which incorporates the move towards self directed, self-designed and self-delivered Indigenous housing programs in this area, but has also started to make profound infest investments in that, in that very same space. In fact, our 2016 budget included $564.7 million in new funding over the, over the next three years to address pressing needs in 464 uh, First Nations communities, uh, but we also, as part of the 10-year housing strategy, uh, as part of the Reaching Home strategy, for the first time carved out an Indigenous stream, which is Indigenous-led and designed and delivered uh, in, in communities right across the this country, and we did something else which I think is profoundly important, and that is in areas where homelessness is high and the point in time counts show a strong Indigenous population unfortunately is, is being overrepresented, we have started to convert even the designated communities to Indigenous leadership uh, so that Indigenous housing providers can in fact provide uh, support for those communities right across the country from coast to coast to coast. In fact, in Vancouver, in the lower BC mainland, the Vancouver uh, community entity that, that manages the funds on, for, 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 the, uh, for, for that 
part of the country and the Community Advisory Board is now being led by Indigenous leadership and Indigenous housing providers, uh, precisely because we recognize their expertise, uh, but also their, their, their cultural capacity to deliver better services for people who are homeless. As I said, the, the, the government is, is committed in three mandate letters to ministers, uh, to the Minister of Northern Affairs, the minister that, that I work for, and also to the Minister for Indigenous Infrastructure to deliver an Indigenous-led urban, rural, and northern housing strategy. Uh, those dollars will be, will be building upon uh, investments that we have made already as part of the National Housing Strategy. In fact, $225 million over the last three years has been invested specifically here. And we did one thing else, uh, other thing that I'm also very proud of, and that is to make sure that CMHC stopped a practice which it had been conducting over the previous decades of disqualifying Indigenous applications as they came forward uh, in, in, terms of, in terms of saying that you have to go to, 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 to INAC or to Indigenous Northern Affairs Canada to get your money. All uh, applications, Indigenous or non-Indigenous, that come forward to, ser to serve uh, Indigenous communities are now incorporated to the National Housing Strategy under all of the $55 billion program and we're having real success with that. We also negotiated with the provincial accords with the different provinces and territories across this country a responsibility for those provincial accords to address Indigenous housing in, in off-reserve areas, including supports to sustain the existing program and the existing rental supports that are needed to, to make and sustain affordable communities for Indigenous people. But we also made sure that capital dollars were allocated in, in that area. But the member is correct. This is an area that is going to require this parliament to act and act with great deliberation and to make substantial investments. Uh, it's unfortunate that the NDP platform doesn't mention Indigenous housing and urban spaces but once, not at all. It also is unfortunate that the three different letters that have been proposed by their leader never once mentions Indigenous housing, not specifically and not intentionally. I'm glad that the member opposite has raised this issue and has driven this issue forward to make sure that, their, that her party takes this issue seriously. I look forward to her support at committee and her support of the federal budget and support of the findings that, that, uh, that our government will produce to show the way forward. We can solve this crisis, but if we do not solve the crisis of urban homelessness and in rural homelessness and northern homelessness, if we do not have a self-directed fourth pillar in the, in the Indigenous housing programs of this country, we will never solve homelessness and we will never achieve reconciliation and we will never achieve the dreams of decolonization that she talked about. Our government is committed to achieving this, I'm committed to achieving this and I look forward to working with the members at Opposite to make sure the dollars flow, the housing is built and people are cared for. Honourable Member for Vancouver East. This is a specific kind of hypocrisy when government overpromises but continues to underdeliver, which serves nothing more than to damage an already fraught relationship. In the emerging political momentum on tackling the Indigenous housing crisis and homelessness, urban and rural Indigenous stakeholders cannot be an afterthought in the process. That's a direct quote from Mark Miracle, the GNU Nonprofit Housing Corporation representative. Mr. Speaker, the comments from the parliamentary secretary, while political, does not serve the work that needs to be done. The fact remains that the government ignored and did not even see the need of addressing urban, rural, and northern Indigenous communities' homelessness crisis. Now they're talking about it, but that talk has gone on for years and years and years, Mr. Speaker, and it is now time to act. The NDP is always ready to see action become reality, and we will be at the table at every turn, pushing the government until Indigenous communities in the, ur in the urban, rural, and northern communities are housed. Honourable Parliament Secretary to the Minister of Families, Children and Social Development. Well, let me be crystal clear. The, the $2.2 billion program, Reaching Home, has a specific Indigenous-led homelessness component to it, which specifically addresses the needs and, and, and the goals and the aspirations of Indigenous housing providers fighting homelessness right across this country. Additionally, we have put $55 billion into housing, and those housing dollars are available to all Indigenous housing providers across this country on an equal terms basis. But that is just as a, as a, as a, as a foreshadowing to the important work we have to do to set up a fourth distinct and, 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 and deliberately intentional funding formula that, that uh, builds on the $225 million we have already invested without the help of the NDP, who never promised a penny of this in their platform, have never asked for a penny of this in any one of their budget submissions. We have put those dollars to play 
play that is building properties right now. Uh, it, we, we, I, I was in Vernon, BC, where I opened an indigenous elders seniors residence. Uh, I, I've, I've worked in Sturgeon Fall, where we've produced new housing. I've been in, 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 in here in Ottawa with the, with the Inuit community. We have also delivered new housing as a direct result of the investments of the National Housing Strategy. There is no hypocrisy here. There is action, there is an investment, and there is a commitment to work for even better results in this parliament.